coming out of the locker room, the feeling I had, uh, words just can't describe it. You know, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll ever get that feeling again. I don't think anything I ever do in life will ever give me the feeling that I had when I stepped onto the field against Princeton. It's very important for us to go out and beat Princeton the first game of the season. It's tough, you know, when you, when you start with a game like that, that's that important, that really sets the tone of the season. And winning that game had a lot, or our, I should say our six game winning streak had a lot to do with winning the Princeton game. Let's go, Red, come on! I think it was, it was critically important because it's a team that our seniors had not beaten. And, um, and, and it's, it's a tremendous way to jumpstart the football season. Uh, it was at home, it's a league game against a quality opponent that finished with a good record. They were a good football team and uh, our fellows were very, very excited, very well prepared and uh, from start to finish dominated the football game. could see that it was a team that was, it was, it's a fighting football team. To be able to come from behind really says a lot about the tenacity of, of the team, of the units. Never quit. They stuck to it to the end. You know, it didn't matter how much time was left, how much, how far we were behind. We knew we could do it. We knew we could pull it off. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. No, I stand my ground. Won't be. in our mind and so many of those times where we were coming back, Harvard, Bucknell, and then when it came down to it, they scored and I think we were down by nine with about five minutes left and I looked at the clock and I said, well, man, we can do this, it's no problem. Um, and we just <clears throat> simply you know, marched down the field taking maybe ten yards here, five yards here, ten yards there. A couple of penalties helped us and we got our first touchdown. Roll right by Larson on the bootleg, he angles and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. And then the defense uh, rolls up. And I stopped him on the Bucknell's drive. We got the ball back with about a minute 30. 
we passed a couple of short passes down there and the uh, penalty and then we got down in field goal position. Just waiting on the sideline, stretching for whatever it was. I don't know how long it was, but that, that seemed like forever. Um, finally going out onto the field, uh, pretty much everything just gets silent. And uh, uh, it just happens so fast. The right hand mark. The kick is on the way. The kick is long enough. It's deep enough. And it is gone. There's a sense of accomplishment for the players that they've done it and they've done it very dramatically and they've done it the hard way. Some of the feelings I felt in that locker room before coming out against Princeton and Dartmouth and against Penn, um, you can't experience those feelings ever again. I'll never experience those feelings ever again. I think their receiver was going, he was on our five yard line after catching a pass. And uh, we were down by a couple of points. And uh, Nick Bombeck stripped the ball as he was going into the end zone, at about the two or three yard line. And I recovered it on the three. Now we had to go 97 yards the length of the field to score, and we needed a touchdown to win. The whole team, we were used to winning in that sort of situation. and so. I don't think anybody even thought about it. It was just boom, 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 get us down the field and score. Come on now! Larson throwing over the middle to Masterson. He's got the first down at the 32-yard line. 115 left. Two wide receivers right. And now he throws the option pitch to Levitt, who has had a chance for 35. The play went in and we were standing on the sideline and Berryman, you know, somebody turned to me and said, uh, it's a seven round, it's a seven round, it's a touchdown. Showman wide right, Berryman wide left, Larson the quarterback, Smith in the backfield, Kirk in the slot left, four man front by Dartmouth, Larson back to pass, Larson looking left, throwing to Berryman in the end zone, the term dodge the bullet okay we didn't dodge a bullet okay we didn't win because we were lucky we won because we stayed at it and we worked at it and we earned it you get what you deserve in this game and we got what we deserve here we were not playing for a championship not playing uh, for any kind of winning streak we were playing for our football team as a football team and uh, that game is as, as indicative of any uh, about our football team. Woo! Let's go, 
it was a real 15 round bout between two very tough, aggressive football teams. Take him out now! drive of the game for us, driving hard and in a position to score, and uh, something uh, that, that we had no control over, uh, an official got in the way of, of a receiver who was about to break away from the defender. And as they went down in a heap, uh, so did victory in that ballgame. Chad is a legitimate running back. I, 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 I can't say enough about him. He has tremendous balance. He will not go down. He is just a, a complete load to try and bring down. He's not a hard hitter, but if you try and go hit him, it's like running into a brick wall. You cannot bring him down. Aaron Berryman, uh, a guy who we expected to be a, a quality performer because he, he has been and he probably exceeded everybody's expectations and is the finest deep threat that we've had in five years. He has speed, he has tenacity, he can catch the ball. He had so many catches in which he took the ball away. You go out there and you'd be looking at this guy every play, you know, 80 plays in a game, just be going into each other every play. And, you know, when, you, when you've got the better of him at the end of the game, you're looking at his eyes and you know you got the better of him. He knows it too. I really feel that defensive line is, is that kind of position where you really don't have to be as cerebral as a, you know, as a, say an offensive lineman and know your assignments and know, know exactly what you're doing. It's more an intensity type thing. I know defensive players in this system are, they really like the physical nature of the game. Uh, you know, when we break the huddle, we always say uh, big red swarm. And I think that pretty much epitomizes the physical nature. You know, we want 11 guys to the ball at each time, each snap, each, each tackle. It's not even just being with your best friends, it's playing football. And it really, it really is a chance for you to, to get away from everything. And, and although it is hard sometimes, and pra you know, practices seem to drag, well, when you think about it in the hole and you step back and you take a look, it, it's where you want to be and it, it's what you want to be doing. You don't even know what close is with friends until you've been through like the practice, the, the lifting, the running, the testing, all that kind of stuff. You don't know what it's like until you go through something like that. And you sit down in the locker room, you look around, you're like, you know, these are great guys. And you know, this is our last opportunity to band together as a group of friends. And that's basically what we did. We were a family. We said that all year that we really were a tight family. The one thing we have that brings us together is the football team. It's the one thing that everybody on this team, no matter where they're from or what they do at this school, has in common. And these guys that are on the football team are my best friends. I mean, you come together from all different places and you're the same type people and you go through the same type things and so you understand each other a lot better. And it really is a close bond. They're my best friends. I share everything with them. You know. Practice is tough when it's cold out, rain, snowing, and uh, maybe you didn't have a good week, a good game. It's tough, but uh, when you come out on that field on Sholkoff on uh, Saturday afternoons, it's forgotten about. and. Uh, Boy, what a feeling it is to go out there and hear that band, it's students cheering. And uh, you know, when we win and seeing that Cornell victorious, it's, it's a great feeling. It's unbelievable. <laughs>